Hey YouTube, Cyber Aquarius here, bringing you the conclusion of my son's science project. We started this experiment on September the 17th. At that time, I only had this one 10 gallon aquarium that was cycled. This aquarium I set up a few months ago as a hospital tank for my African cichlid aquarium. And we had to have a control aquarium. So I purchased another 10 gallon aquarium and we set it up on September the 17th and I used Seachem's stability to, to get this aquarium to cycle as quickly as possible. The cycle of Aquarium B took 20 days and I'll do a more in-depth in video of the cycle of this aquarium, but right now this is the results of my son's uh, science project. Both aquariums have almost identical bio loads. Aquarium A has one uh, Fusco cichlid approximately two and a half inches and approximately a three inch bristlenose placostomus back there. Uh, Aquarium B has one two and a half inch long firemouth cichlid and another three inch bristlenose placostomus. This aquarium has a lot more diatoms because you know, it just cycled uh, on, I think it was October the 13th. But um, yeah, both aquariums are set up identical. Uh, each aquarium was fed three times a day, the same amount of food each feeding. And today is November the 3rd. I just did a nitrate test on, I did a nitrate test earlier on both aquariums, but for the purpose of this video, I did another nitrate test on aquarium B. And this is using Seachem's multi-test nitrite and nitrate test kit. This is much more accurate than API's uh, nitrate test because the API test kit will read from 0, 5, 10, 20, 40, and 80 parts per million. You see here, uh, Seachem's test kit, this, this should get much more accurate. This is a current reading of 2 milligrams per liter or parts per million. And I'm going to pull the, the chart here out of this just to show you. The, the top numbers is your uh, nitrate or nitrite reading. And your bottom numbers here, this is for your nitrate results. Um, you see it goes from 0 all the way to 2, you know, 5, 7 and a half, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So you can get much more accurate with this and we had to uh, since this this was for a science project and we had to graph the results on a week-to-week -week basis but um, there you have it that's uh, two two milligrams per liter in aquarium B today and we graphed out the results here I'll show you this graph okay um, this is the nitrate concentrations in aquariums A and B the vertical column is the nitrate concentrations in milligrams per liter from 0 to 16. And the horizontal column, or the horizontal row, is the days. Like I said, we started this experiment on October the 13th. And, well, we started it on September the 17th, setting up the aquarium. But the actual experiment started with the tests on October the 13th. You see... Um, both aquariums had an initial nitrate concentration of 10 milligrams per liter. Actually, aquarium A had a concentration of 20 milligrams per liter, but in order to start with the same values, I did a 50% water change on aquarium A to get the concentrations to 10 milligrams per liter. So after that first initial 50% water change, we started with 10 milligrams per liter in each aquarium on October the 13th. Then I conducted another 50% water change on each aquarium and we got the results down to, or the concentrations down to five milligrams per liter. Then we allowed one week to, to elapse without conducting any water changes. The aquariums were given three feedings each day and one week later on October the 20th, we did a nitrate test before our water change and the results were 15 milligrams per liter in each aquarium. That was an increase from five to 15 
an increase of 10 milligrams per liter. So 10 milligrams per liter was our weekly rate of production. At this time, immediately after the water change, I added 128 grams of Seachem's Pond Matrix. Uh, I used established media out of the sump in my 150 gallon aquarium. So keep in mind, I'm starting with established Pond Matrix. It takes a lot longer for it to, to uh, colonize when, you know, whenever you first add it to your aquarium. But for the purpose of this experiment, the, the experiment is due on Wednesday. I had to get these results quickly. So October the 20th, 128 grams uh, was added per uh, each aquarium. We immediately did another 50% water change and our nitrate concentrations went to approximately eight milligrams per liter. We uh, allowed one more week to elapse without conducting any water changes and the concentrations went from eight milligrams per liter to 15 milligrams per liter on October the 27th. So the increase was only seven milligrams per liter. Right away you see that the weekly rate of production was 10 milligrams per liter. The, the new test should have been 18 milligrams per liter, but it was only 15. So right there you know that the pond matrix is already removing three milligrams per liter of nitrate concentrations on a weekly basis. So after the test of 15 milligrams per liter, we conducted another 50% water change, took another test. Uh, the results were eight parts per million or milligrams per liter on each aquarium. Then we allowed one more week this past week to go by without conducting any water changes. We conducted two nitrate tests, one on each aquarium this morning, and the results were five milligrams per liter. They were eight at the end of uh, the water change last Sunday, and today they're five. So you see that the, the concentrations were lowered by three milligrams per liter so right there it shows you that the pond matrix is removing the weekly rate of production of 10 milligrams per liter as well as an additional three milligrams per liter. So the pond matrix is removing 13 milligrams per liter on a week to week basis from this past week. We conducted another 50% water change right here today and uh, uh, final concentrations, which, which I just showed you, is two milligrams per liter. His experiment uh, is due on Wednesday, but I think it's safe to conclude that by next Sunday, the nitrate concentrations should be zero. So I'm going to go ahead and do another nitrate test next Sunday just to you know validate that theory. But um, there you have it. Uh, once again. C. Kim's Pond Matrix proves to remove nitrate concentrations from the aquarium. And I hope my son gets an A on this. Um, I also hope that this experiment will help you guys to, to see how you can determine, you know, if your media is removing nitrate concentrations. You know, it's not going to go immediate, immediately to zero. You're going to see, you know, your weekly rate of production uh, that increase won't be taking place on a week-to-week -week basis. So you have to know what you're dealing with on a week-to-week -week basis in order to, you know, make a conclusion as to the effectiveness of your media. But, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, keep your fingers crossed for my son. Hope he gets an A on this project. I know it's been a, been a fun project to do. And we got to head downstairs and start typing up his report. So guys, thanks a lot. This is Cyber Aquarius saying thank you. Have a good one.